What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 37th Jailbreak Update video. And finally, after taking a couple weeks off, we have some new news to talk about. So in this episode, we're gonna be talking about the final version of iOS 10.3.3, which was just released, as well as everything going on right now in the jailbreak world. All right, so let's not waste any time at all. Let's go ahead and get right into this. So first of all, yes, Apple finally released the final version of iOS 10.3.3 earlier today. After six betas and months of beta testing, it lasted forever, it was almost like we were just never going to get the final version of 10.3.3 but it was released today and to our surprise it actually had a different build number than the sixth beta which most everybody thought was the GM build. But of course, that's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing because that means that this final version is gonna be even more stable than beta six, which was extremely stable. And you also need to keep in mind that iOS 10.3.3 is very likely to be the last version of iOS 10 to be released. So that means that it's probably gonna stay signed for a very long time until at least after iOS 11 gets released later this year. And of course, for 32-bit devices like the iPhone 5 or whatever else supports iOS 10.3.3, this is very likely gonna be your last version that you're ever gonna have. So it's gonna stay signed forever for you guys for anybody on a 32-bit device that supports 10.3.3 this is going to stay signed forever because obviously you can't go up to iOS 11 on a 32-bit device and of course that just assumes that there's not going to be a 10.3.4 or 10.4 much later down the road which of course is always a possibility just kind of depending on what's out there as far as exploits and and things like that all right so now that iOS 10.3.3 has been released what does it mean for jailbreaking? Well, it means that right now is pretty much the prime time. This is a very good time to release a jailbreak, maybe Pangu, the Keen Lab, Zimperium, somebody. It's a prime time right now since it was just released to release a jailbreak. And of course, the big reason for that is because 10.3.3 is gonna continue being signed for a very long time. So that means a ton of people are gonna be able to get in on the jailbreak and get Cydia installed on their device. And then we also have the possibility that some team or researcher had some exploits and some bugs that worked on 10.3.2, but they were patched than 10.3.3, which means they can more, you know, they're more confident in releasing this now, you know, a jailbreak or the exploit, whatever. Since it's been patched, they really have no use, you know, in keeping it around. So they can make it public, release a jailbreak. We really just don't know at this point. It's just speculation right now. So now let's answer the question that I know almost everybody's going to ask. Should I update to 10.3.3 now? And the answer, of course, is going to be no. I would not update to 10.3.3. I would say the best position to be in right now is iOS 10.3.1. If you're not already jailbroken, of course, if you're already jailbroken, stay jailbroken at all costs but you need to save blobs as well I'll touch on that in a minute but 10.3.1 is the ideal firmware to be on right now. Now, if you can't be on 10.3.1, I'd recommend you go to 10.3.2. And the reason being is because 10.3.3 patches a ton of bugs. I mean, a ton of bugs. And if we look at the security content here, you can see that there's quite a few kernel and WebKit bugs, which are both notoriously important for jailbreaking. They are a big part of a jailbreak. And there's a lot of interesting things you can see from these security notes. You see lots of Google Project Zero in there. You know, you see some other uh, teams and researchers right there. But if you look at the kernel bugs, this one's pretty interesting. You you can see that the user or the, the researcher, I should say, that reported these wanted to stay anonymous. Now, this is interesting because every researcher or team I've ever known has wanted to be listed on Apple's notes. It's like a sign of being legit and pretty much just knowing what you're doing. So the only conclusion I came to is that it has to be somebody who's already well known, you know, somebody that doesn't need the attention anymore. So that's why I think it could be Luca Tedesco, somebody from Pangu, or even somebody from the Keen Lab. It's not a huge deal, but I really just like digging deep on, you know, minor things like that. But yeah, there's some very interesting bugs passed in 10.3.3 and I'll leave the link down in the description below if you want to read through all the security notes for 10.3.3. Now of course since these bugs were patched in 10.3.3 that means that they're still alive and active in 10.3.2 and presumably 10.3.1 and 10.3 as well. So that again could mean that it's a perfect time to release a 10.3.2 jailbreak or 10.3 through 10.3.2 jailbreak since those bugs and exploits are pretty much pointless you know they're, they're not worth anything now since they've been patched by Apple. So if somebody was holding on to one for a while this is the perfect opportunity for them. Them. Now on the flip side, it also makes sense for a researcher or a team of researchers who have exploits or bugs working on 10.3.3 now, even after the final release, to release them because the bugs and exploits that work on 10.3.3 now most likely will not work on iOS 11. Now of course that's not always true, but I'm making an assumption here. So yeah, I think there's a good chance that we get a 10.3.3 jailbreak as well. That just may be a little bit further down the road. Of course, I wouldn't expect any kind of jailbreak to be released like this week or next week or anything like that. It's still going to take a little bit. But of course, this release from Apple is definitely good news 
news for those interested in jailbreaking. And you know, it's silly to think that jailbreaking is dead at this point. So with all that being said, make sure you save your iOS 10.3.2 and your 10.3.3 SHSH2 bobs. And if you don't know how to do that, make sure you check the link down in the description below where I show you exactly how to do so. Now let's briefly go over Adam Donafield and the 10.3.1 kernel exploit that he's gonna be releasing. So if you didn't know, Adam is a security researcher from the Zimperium team, and he's planning on publicly releasing the exploit in mid to late August before an event that his company's attending. Now remember, this is just a kernel exploit, not a full jailbreak. Now kernel exploit is obviously very important for a jailbreak, but you still need other bugs to chain it with to create a full-fledged jailbreak. But the good news about this is that Adam himself is actually willing to work with a security researcher to put together a full public jailbreak. So yeah, there's a lot of hope with Adam's exploit and it's gonna be really interesting to watch and see. However, I would still go into it with no expectations. That way you don't get let down. As for the Keen Lab who showed off the 10.3.2 and the iOS 11 jailbreak at MoSec last month, they haven't said anything. They haven't posted anything on social media since. So I can, you know, it's pretty presumable that they're not gonna be releasing anything uh, as far as a public jailbreak or anything like that. But of course, it's still possible. I wouldn't fully rule it out. It's just not looking very likely at this point. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is the latest going on in the jailbreak world right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss any of these jailbreak update videos. They're very important and do they keep you up to date with everything going on in the jailbreak world. So again, don't update to 10.3.3. Stay on 10.3.1 or 10.3.2 at the very latest. And uh, yeah, make sure you save your blobs as well. You guys know the drill. Check the description for anything you need to know down there. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.